Okay, Lamper Fox here again. I uh, thought I'd make a little video. Um, you're wondering what this is? This is my noise reduction. I have a, I have a generator. I don't have the inverter type. My Honda is still being worked on. Um, Got to get parts and money to get parts. But the little, the little uh, power mate thing that we bought, generator sits right behind here. Right there. Um, I did stuff on it. It's uh, got a little bit of dirt on top, but uh, thing runs strong. Suits all of our needs. You put it under here with these boards, and this one at an angle. The sound waves all reflect off and go right to the ground. It, it makes it it's quiet, if not quieter than the Honda, just by doing that. Uh, and then it gets air in around there. In the summertime, I put a fan, a little gap over there. It keeps it from overheating and gets the fumes out. Uh, works works great. The only issue I have with it, cheap thing, it was bought at Walmart for $129. Um, been using it six, seven months now. Works great. Biggest problem I have with it is that uh, every time you start it now in the winter time, it runs about two, three minutes and shuts off. Then you got to come back out, fire it back up, and then it runs strong until you shut it off. I only run it about four to five hours a night, if that, because the winter time really sucks the life out of batteries. Um, my batteries are getting really, really weak. <laughs> As you know, I've said they're weak. They weren't new when I got them. So, but they're I've been I've been somehow managing to get every ounce of life out of them. They won't go above 12.3 in the charge now. Uh, some people are concerned about it staying warm and shit and the snow. But if you look up there, you see see the smoke coming out of there. Yeah, that's heat. Yeah, wood burner works great in a small cabin. We have no issues with that. Here's a four new, well not new, but four newer used batteries that we got from our source, uh, Roman and Remy. Thanks a bunch. These, these is what kept us going all this year. We've been going a year and something on batteries that they've given us. Um, these four are going to be checked, fluids charged, put into the system, and then. Uh, at which point the 10 that are in the battery box are coming out. The 3 are out back that just won't go any higher. And then the 5 or 6 over at Shooters are all going in to be traded. Or not traded in but sold. I think you can get $8 a piece for them. And then that's going to be uh, going to buy brand new deep cycles. Here's our solar panels. We just got the sun come, come out of the cloudy sky. And... Uh, our solar panels and you see these cracks here I hear a lot of complaints about these mine hasn't started leaking yet um I think what's going on here is you got these bolts in here these are bolted down tight this plastic and black this is gray um, this expands and contracts at a different rate plus with the glass these are the weak points in the corners so when these are held down tight I think what's happening is these are the weak spots in the in the you know frame uh these expand at a greater rate than these and that puts pressure on these screws which causes this to have to give somewhere and that's why they crack like they do um put some silicone in it seal them up these are a year and a half old working strong uh, my suggestion is you leave these screws loose don't don't tighten them down because right now it don't look like i'd be able to get these off if i wanted to so you gotta leave them loose um, I got some that were going on the motor home, which is now plugged into power, so we don't need to run it. We pay a little bit of rent now, which makes it easier on a uh, family member. That's the harbor is here, I guess. But uh, these right here were over there, keeping his batteries going. And you know, they go about a week, and then we'd have to charge it up with the generator. But uh, there's a uh, recycling and stuff in that tote but uh, now they're in this system it gives me a total of if they produce the full amount in, in a perfect condition it's 45 watts there that's 18 that's 10 so if you do the math um, I am looking online at some um, polycrystalline and monocrystalline they are uh, produce a lot more power for per size for the same size panel they'll produce a lot more power than these 
but these will produce power at a lower light level than the, than the poly and the mono. Not that the poly and the mono don't at low light, they still do, they just don't. These ones just produce more at the level. These are organic, whereas poly and mono, monocrystalline are, uh, are uh, mineral. So, I, I don't knock them. This Harbor Freight kit has served us a year and a half, goes strong. We actually live off this. We got a little TV, we got a little fan, we got some lights. That's all we use to charge up all of our phones, our, our tablets, our run lights at night, or the generator to make sure we, you know, the batteries stay up the best we can. Um, it's actually, with the wind chill out here right now, it's actually like, like zero degrees. So I'm going to end this video real quick, but uh, yeah. Uh, give me some comments below. I just realized, you know, there's that spot down there for comments. How oh, stupid of me. But anyways, Lamper Fox here. I'm going to get in where it's warm, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.